Genesis 121 to King James 1611. And God created great whales and every living creature that moveth. And the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Genesis 1.21, the New King James. So God created great sea creatures, roar, and every living thing that moves, with which the waters abounded according to their kind, and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw it was good. Zechariah 11.17 The King James 16.11 A.V. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Zechariah 11:17 The New King James Woe to the worthless shepherd who leaves the flock a sword shall be against his arm against his right eye his arm shall completely wither and his right eye shall be totally blinded Leviticus 19.16 King James 16.11 A.V. <clears throat> Thou shalt not go up and down as a talebearer among thy people. Neither shalt thou stand against the blood of thy neighbor. I am the Lord. Leviticus 19.16 The New King James you shall not go about as a talebearer among your people, nor shall you take a stand against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. Luke 13, 8. The King James 1611 AV. And he answered, said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig it and dung it. Luke 13, 8, the New King James. But he answered and said unto him, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig around it and fertilize it. Genesis 22, 8, the King James, 1611 A.V. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a burnt offering. So they went both of them together. Genesis 22, 8, the New King James. And Abraham said, My son, God will provide for himself the lamb for a burnt offering. So the two of them went together. John 8.35 The King James 16.11 A.V. And the servant abideth not in the house forever. But the Son 
abided forever. John 8.35 The New King James And a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. Matthew 7.14 The King James 16.11 AV Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto light, and few there be that find it. Matthew 7.14 The New King James Because narrow is the gate, and difficult is the way which leadeth to life, and there are few who find it. <laughs> Ephesians 2 8, the King James 1611 AV. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2.8 The New King James For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, Least any man should boast. John fourteen sixteen, King James sixteen eleven, A V. And I will pray the Father, and He shall give you another Comforter, that He may abide with you forever. Chapter fourteen, verse twenty six. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. John fourteen sixteen, the New King James. I will pray the Father, and he will give you another Helper, he may abide with you forever. 1426 But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you in remembrance of all things I said unto you. Acts 3.13 The King James 16.11 A.V. The God of Abraham, and of Isaac, and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified His Son Jesus, whom He delivered up, and denied Him in the presence of Pilate, when He was determined to let Him go. Acts 3.13 The New King James the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of our fathers, glorify his servant, Jesus, whom he delivered up and denied in the presence of Pilate when he had determined to let him go. Acts 4.27 The King James 16.11 A.V. For of a truth against the holy child, Jesus, whom thou hast anointed, both Herod and Pontius Pilate, with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel were gathered together. Acts 4.27 The New King James For truly against your holy servant, Jesus, 
whom you anointed both Herod and Pontius Pilate with the Gentiles, and the people of Israel were gathered together. Second Timothy 2.15 The King James 16.11 A.V. Study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Study. Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Literary. A setting of the mind or thoughts upon a subject. Hence, application of the mind of books to the arts or science or to any subject from the purpose of learning what is not before known. 2 Timothy 2.15 The New King James Be diligent to present yourself approved unto God. A workman who does not need to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Diligent Webster's 1828 Dictionary Steady in application to business. Constant in effort or exertion to accomplish what is undertaken. Assusidus, attentive, industrious, not idle or neglected. Applied to person. The New King James omissions. The New King James Version omits the word Lord 66 times. The New King James Version omits the word God 51 times. The New King James Version omits the word Heaven 50 times. The New King James Version omits the word Repent 44 times. The New King James omits the word blood 23 times. The New King James Version omits the word hell 22 times. The New King James omits the word Jehovah entirely. The New King James omits the word New Testament entirely. The New King James Version omits the word damnation entirely. The New King James Version omits the word devils entirely. The New King James Version ignore, ignores the King James Version Greek Texas Receptus over 1,200 times. And this is the Bible you want to read and hold to? It ain't no Bible. And this is just a tip of the iceberg of the errors of the New King James Version. In a moment, we'll show you what to do with the King James. And we'll show you what to do with the New King James Bible. If you want to call the New King James. I don't even call it a Bible. Yeah!